It seems the harsher international sanctions on North Korea are really starting to bite. Even the regime's longtime ally, China, is turning its back, barring a North Korean freighter from one of its ports. Kwan Sowa has this report. In one of the first signs that the UN Security Council sanctions on Pyongyang are being implemented, China has denied a North Korean ship entry to one of its ports, according to media reports Wednesday. A Chinese shipping official says the cargo ship Grand Caro arrived at Rizal Port in Shandong, northeastern China, over the weekend. But the port did not allow the ship to berth, as it is one of the 31 vessels blacklisted under the new UN resolution. Japanese Sankei Shimbun newspaper said Wednesday, Chinese trade officials have been ordered to reject North Korean ships beginning on Thursday and to inspect all North Korean imports, adding that the Chinese government is also expected to deny passage to ships returning to the north and may even stop maritime trade with North Korea once and for all. Already, bilateral trade at the border between North Korea and China has dropped 20 to 30 percent, according to a diplomatic source. The latest moves appear to be a sign that North Korea's closest ally is turning its back on the regime. But experts say it's too early to verify such claims, as China cooperated with getting previous UN Security Council resolutions passed, but later displayed lukewarm attitude toward their implementation. It will be difficult for China not to implement the sanctions they drafted over such a long period of time with the U.S. In consideration of U.S.-China relations and Beijing's national image, there is a high chance that they want to demonstrate their active participation in the implementation at the early stages after the adoption of the resolution. The expert added, regardless of China, the international community is very supportive of the new UN resolution more than ever before, as reflected in the fast adoption of independent measures by individual countries. In the latest of these, the UK imposed new financial sanctions on Pyongyang, adding 15 individuals and five entities to its blacklist, making it 48 and 41 in all, along with the separate sanctions by the UN Security Council and the EU. Kwan Soa, Arirang News.